Today, we will talk about Engels' Law. Engels' Law is a basic economic principle that states that as a household's income rises, the percentage of income allocated for food purchases decreases while the percentage spent on other things, such as education and recreation, increases. This concept was first introduced by Ernst Engel, a German statistician, in 1857. In his study, Engel found that the poorer the group, the greater the percentage of their budget that was spent on food. This finding has been expressed as either the poorer a family, the greater the proportion of its total expenditure that must be devoted to the provision of food or the poorer is a family, the greater is the proportion of the total outgo which must be used for food. Engel's law remains a fundamental principle of economics today and underlies many economic and social policies around the world. Once families have met their food needs, they have money to spend on other things. This principle has extended to whole countries, arguing that wealthier nations can devote more to manufacturing and services. For example, a family with an annual household income of $50,000 spends 25% of their income on food. If their income doubles to $100,000, it's unlikely that they will spend $25,000 on food, although they may spend somewhat more than they had been spending. An Engel curve is a graph that shows the relationship between household income and spending on a particular good or service. The Engel coefficient, based on Engel's law, is a measure of a nation's standard of living and is used by some countries to set their poverty line. It is arrived at by dividing food expenditures by total expenditures. Engel's law is a fundamental principle that states as a household's income rises, the percentage of income spent on food decreases and the percentage spent on other goods and services increases. This principle, first introduced by Ernst Engel, remains influential in economics and public policy today. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Engel's law is a 19th century observation that as household income increases, the percentage of income that a household spends on food will decline. 2. In part, this is because the amount and quality of food that a family can consume is fairly limited. 3. As food spending declines on a relative basis, households spend a greater portion of their income on other things, such as education and recreation. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.